Welcome back, SBC listeners. Today I'd like to have you along on my second to last solo flight on my schedule before I was to take my check ride. Join me for episode 44, Alpha Delta, or second to almost there. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 4121 Tango, is at Chandler Air Service. We have Sulu and uh, we'd like a south departure, please. Today, I'd be flying in 2148 Yankee on a solo flight to practice ground reference maneuvers as well as practicing some short and soft field landings. In fact, according to my Part 141 training curriculum, this would just be my second to last solo flight before my check ride. We'll see what actually happens, but I knew that my primary training was coming to an end. In fact, this was past the middle of July. And I was trying to pass my oral and my check ride before I would go to Oshkosh for Air Venture 2008, my first trip there. And I would be going as one of a handful of aviation podcasters at the time. I would be leaving on a commercial flight Monday, July 28th in the evening. And this solo flight was 10 days prior to that. So I would need to finish up my training, make sure I was ready, and pass my check ride to make it by the time I left. So these flights were important to me because I needed the practice to get where I wanted to be to make my check ride date, which was scheduled for six days away on the 24th. After this flight, my curriculum had me taking five more flights over those six days. So it would be a whirlwind. In fact, I would be taking the next Tuesday off from my regular job, doing a dual flight, a solo flight, and a stage check all in one day to make sure I'd make it. But we'll get to that in future episodes. For this solo, let's just start with me getting the ATIS and making my initial call. Three two two point one six. Altimeter two nine eight zero. Visual approach in use, finding and departing runways four left and right. Notice airmen multiple obstructions in the vicinity of Chandler Airport up to three hundred ten feet AGL. Departures advise ground control of your direction of flight. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of Channel Airport. Read back all hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have Quebec. Channel Tower information, Quebec time 1450 Zulu. Wind 130 at 5. Temperature 32, 2.16. Altimeter 2980. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runways 4, left and right. Notice German. Chandler Ground, Cherokee 2148, Yankees at Chandler Air Service. I'd like a south departure and I have Quebec. Pitch 60, Charlie Kilo, Chandler Ground, taxi to runway 4, left via Alpha Delta. Cherokee 214 Yankee Chandler Ground, taxi to runway 4 left via Alpha Delta. Taxi to 4 left via Alpha Delta, Cherokee, Alta, Alpha Delta, Cherokee 48 Yankee. Did you catch that? Yeah, I think I said Alpha Delta on my initial response, thus the subtitle of this episode. I guess I was a little tongue twisted, but I got it right eventually. I did my run up, and we'll pick it up where I call the tower for my clearance to take off. I would ask for a momentary delay because I'd be practicing a short field takeoff, which would require me to taxi out to the very beginning of the runway and then line up and stay on the brakes while I ran the engine up to takeoff power and then release the brakes to take off. This lining up and running the engine up means that I need a few extra seconds on the runway before starting my takeoff roll and thus the request for delay. There was some landing traffic, so I got held there for a bit, and you can hear me comment rather musically that it was hot in the cockpit. Not sure why I sang that, but there it is. After the Mooney landed, you'll hear a cutoff transmission on the radio. I wasn't sure what that was, so after a few seconds, I thought maybe it was the tower trying to clear me, so I jumped on to let them know that if it was them, the transmission was cut off and I didn't read it. They cleared me, and off I went. 
After getting approval to turn right or southbound after takeoff from the four runway, I will get a warning of traffic. Sometimes it takes a little bit to find traffic, and until we report that it's in sight, the controllers stay sort of vigilant on it to help us maintain separation. Once we see it, it mostly becomes our responsibility as pilots to maintain separation in visual flight rules. You'll hear me report that it's in sight, and the controller will let the other pilot know that they're seen. And in this case, that's actually kind of important because this controller was operating on two different frequencies, and I think... Both, frequency, both frequencies could hear him, but the pilots couldn't hear each other if we were on the north frequency or the south frequency. So in this case, it's important that he's passing that information along since the other pilot probably didn't hear me directly. Anyway, here you go. I'll let it play until I'm up to 3,000 feet and headed to my practice area. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 2148, Yankees ready to go on four left, request momentary delay. Cherokee 214, Yankee Town Tower, hold short, runway 4 left, landing traffic. Hold short, 4 left, uh, Cherokee 48, Yankee. It's hot in here. The Mooney coming in. Victor Hotel, Roger Observed. Arrow 2 Delta, frame change, free with 8. Mooney 1 Delta, Alpha, turn left, that taxiway, contact ground 124.4. Good day. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 48 Yankee, that last transmission was unreadable. I just heard the beginning. Cherokee 214 Yankee, momentary delay approved, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 4 left, Cherokee 48 Yankee. But has a 5757 Delta Chandler Tower. But has a 57 Delta. Roger, in a, a right downwind, a runway uh, four right, report uh, two miles. Helicopter nine, Victor Hotel, runway four right, cleared, touch and go. A short field takeoff. Charlie, 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 Tower, Tail, Tack, Cliff, Takeoff, Southbound, Traffic in the Patterns, Three Helicopters. 50. Helicopter 430, Tech, Toy, Charlie, Cliff, Touch and Go. Seven Delta traffic departing at runway four left Cherokee southbound. Now the five seven Delta Roger. Cherokee four Yankee right turn approved southbound. Right turn approved Cherokee four eight Yankee. Nasa 5-7 Delta, plan uh, runway 4 left. Helicopter 87 Kilo, taxiway Charlie, clear touch and go. Yankee traffic 12 to 1 o'clock, Bonanza, 4 miles for the right downwind. Well, we're looking, Cherokee, for a Yankee. Bonanza 5-7 Delta, Cherokee traffic, 
one o'clock in two miles southbound, 2,100. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 4 Yankee, how's that traffic? We're going to go outside. Cherokee 4 Yankee, maintain visual separation. There's a 5-7 Delta check, Cherokee traffic has you in sight. Pass them behind you. There's a 5-5-8-2 X-ray, Chandler Tower, make a right traffic report two miles south. Five seven Delta change runway four left runway four left to land. Clock up eight seven kilo text with Charlie clear touch and go. Clock up for nine vector tail traffic behind slightly to your right company traffic on the go text with Charlie. Helicopter 430, company traffic heading to you, left on a crosswind. Helicopter 430, taxiway Charlie, clear touch and go. Helicopter 9, Victor Hotel, runway 4 right, clear touch and go. Okay, leveled off at 3,000 feet. At this point, I went out to the practice area and spent about 20 minutes doing ground reference maneuvers. But I didn't really talk during this, and to make matters worse, I never turned off the tower frequency, so the whole recording during that time is just ongoing traffic this morning at Chandler. So we'll skip ahead to where I decide to climb up to 2,500 feet and head back to practice some landings again. The ATIS hadn't changed. It was still the same information Quebec that I had when I took off. So I make my call to head back. Notice the controller must have been pretty busy because most of my request he didn't really register. He would ask if I had the information, which I had already said, and then a bit later would ask type of landing, which I also had already said. Sometimes those guys get really busy and are sometimes covering multiple positions, including in this case, he was covering both the north and the south runway. And I comment on that after his second clarification. You'll also hear some transmissions getting stepped on, people not hearing the tower, etc. It was getting a little crazy out there. I'll let this go through a few landings. The first would be a soft field landing, and the second two would be short field landings, my favorite type. Unfortunately, I wasn't very talkative this morning, so not a lot of narrative on what's going on, and as usual, I'll cut out dead air. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 2148, Yankee 3,000 feet, 6 miles south with Quebec, inbound, touch and go. Cherokee 2148, Yankee, Chandler Tower, make right traffic, throw away 4 right, report 2 miles south, verify you do have Quebec. Affirmative, I have Quebec, we'll make 2, uh, we'll make left. I'm sorry, right traffic for four right and report two miles for right Yankee. November 320, Mike Echo, Challenge Tower, I bet. Helicopter <clears throat> 9 Victor Hotel, taxiway Charlie, clear touch and go. November 0, Mike Echo, change the runway four to left and report three miles. Clear touch and go, 9 Victor Hotel. Yankee, safe type landing request. This would be a touch and go for a Yankee. Cherokee, for Yankee, roger. November zero. Guys work at two sides uh, of the field. Verify type landing. Chandler Tower, helicopter seven. Oh, roger, after completion of the option, and then say request. The uh, transient ramp from the uh, flow area. Zero mic echo, right? Charlie Chandler, Tower, your transmission was cut out. 
November zero. Craziness out here today. Counter Tower Helicopter 7087 Kilo would like to re reposition to the transient ramp from the uh, slope area. Helicopter 7087 Kilo, Challenge Tower, proceed as requested, use caution, non movement area. Proceeding with caution, 87 Kilo. Helicopter 430, attack to a Charlie, clear, touch and go. 430, clear, touch and go. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 2148. Yankee is on a two mile 45. Four right. Cherokee 48, Yankee, Roger, report downwind. Report downwind, 248, Yankee. Turkey for eight Yankees on down one. Turkey for eight Yankee runway two or correction runway four right clear touch and go. Clear touch and go on four right. Turkey for eight Yankee. I'll do a soft soft field. for the option, the other R-22 on Charlie is proceeding slope area. Clear for the option, 9 Victor Hotel. Settler Tower, Arrow 9 Victor Hotel, Delta Alpha is uh, 7 miles south of your field, uh, inbound uh, for the check goes uh, with information Quebec. Arrow 9 or 2 zero, Delta Alpha, Channel Tower, make right traffic, runway 4 right. Report downwind traffic, Cherokee in the pattern. Make uh, right traffic, uh, runway 4 right, uh, Roger. Arrow 9 or 2, Delta Alpha. Okay. Arrow 9 or 2, Delta Alpha, Roger. Arrow 9 or 2, Delta Alpha, I did. I did think uh, Arrow 9 or 2, Delta Alpha. Arrow 2 Delta Alpha, I'm in my instructions, make straight in approach runway 4 right, report a 2 mile final. Make straight in for runway 4 right, report a 2 mile final, uh, Arrow 9 or 2 Delta Alpha. Arrow 2 Delta Alpha, traffic 12 to 1 o'clock in 1 to 2 miles. Appears B northwest on type unknown altitude indicates 3,000. Looking out there, Arrow 9 or 2 Delta Alpha. Alpha, say again. Traffic inside, Arrow 9 or 2 Delta Alpha. Arrow 2 Delta Alpha, roger. Cherokee 4 Yankee, runway 4 right, cleared touch and go. Clear touch and go, 4 right, Cherokee 4 Yankee. All right, I'll do it. 
do a soft or a short field this time. Up, traffic beam to the left, one mile to Bonanza on a practice approach, 2,500. Traffic inside, nine or two delta. Helicopter nine or Victor Hotel, taxiway Charlie cleared for the option. Cleared for the option, nine Victor Hotel. Zero two delta Alpha, follow the Cherokee short final. After completion your touch and go, make right traffic, runway four right, clear touch and go, number two. Number two, make uh, right traffic, uh, following the Cherokee, uh, nice with that Cop to 70562, channel tire traffic, R22 in the pattern, report south point. Reporting south point, 70562. Chandler Tower, helicopter 19 Victor Hotel on uh, Charlie, looking to reposition to the quantum ramp. Captain Underbeck Hotel, Chandler Tower, Harbor Tax and Ramp as requested, use caution. Using caution, quantum ramp, Niner Victor Hotel. Challenge out, helicopter 70562 is approaching South Point. Helicopter 562 at the helipad cleared to land. At the helipad cleared to land, helicopter 70562. Cherokee 4 Yankee, runway 4 right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go 4 right, Cherokee 4 8 Yankee. I'm going to do another short field this time. <clears throat> and a beam. Good. One much. Two Delta Alpha, number two, follow the Cherokee, right base, runway four right, clear touch and go, number two. Number two, runway four right, clear touch and go, uh, uh, looking out for the Cherokee, I don't know, two Delta Alpha. I didn't love that last landing, and as you'll hear on my climb out, I was thinking I was keeping the power in too long. I guess that's why I was practicing. I would make this one my, my last one, and it would be another short field landing. It does get a little interesting here. The controller got confused on who was who, and while I was on short final, he cleared me number two and to look for traffic, an arrow on short final. I looked around and couldn't see anyone and made the decision to go around since something obviously wasn't right here. After pouring on the coals and cleaning up the airplane a little, I told the tower I was going around because he had called other traffic on short final while I was on short final. He figured out that he actually got us backwards or mixed up and told me I could land, and in the recording you can hear me actually start to pull the power back, and then the good angel on my shoulder said, don't try to land now, stupid, and I put the power back in and told the tower I was unable and I would go around. I wanted to get set back up in a stable approach without the extra stress of just thinking I was right on top of another airplane. Going around and trying again would be the best decision. Looking back, of course, I think it was the right one. The controller would later apologize, but of course these things happen, no harm, no foul. I think it was another good opportunity for me to practice good aeronautical decision making. Besides, I was pretty happy with that final landing. Here is that final go round and the landing all the way to the ramp. I gotta get that power out earlier. Chandler, tell information Romeo current altimeter 2980. Chandler, tell us one nine zero Charlie, about four and one half miles to the northeast with 
Helicopter 7190 Charlie Channel Tower report South Point. Helicopter 20430 Chandler Tower, hover taxi to the ramp as requested. Use caution, not moving area. Use caution as requested, 430. Chandler Tower, Cherokee 48 Yankee, we'll make this one a full stop, please. Cherokee 48 Yankee, Roger, continue right traffic. Continue right traffic for right, Yankee. All right, another short field. Seventeen, huh? Zero two down the alpha runway four right cleared, touch and go. Runway four right cleared, touch and go. Air nine two down the alpha. Helicopter 900 Charlie at the helipad cleared to land. Helicopter 900 Charlie cleared to land to helipad. Cherokee 4 Yankee number 2 for the Arrow short final runway 4 right cleared to land number 2. Right, Yankee's going around. I don't have the traffic. I feel. I think I'm inside of him. Cherokee Ford Yankee, Roger. Are you short final? Uh, that's affirmative. Cherokee Ford Yankee, if able, you're cleared to land runway four right. No, I'm going to go around for eight, Yankee. Cherokee Ford Yankee, Roger. I thought you were midfield downwind. No problem. Just got a little high here after I went around. So for eight, Yankee, I'll go around. Cherokee Ford Yankee, Roger. Cherokee Ford Yankee, the arrows mid uh, beam to the right on a uh, wide downwind crosswind. Approve your discretion to follow. I have the traffic. I'll turn crosswind for a Yankee. Arrow two Delta Alpha runway four right cleared. Touch and go. Runway four right cleared. Touch and go. Arrow nine two Delta Alpha. Cherokee, Ford Yankee number two now follow the arrow right base, runway four right. Cleared to land number two. Cleared to land number two on four right, four eight Yankee. All right, let's try this again. Diamond Star requesting southbound. Uh, if you're on my concern, that's a 300 feet HL, uh, Arrow 9 is with Delta. Archer 9 or 6 1 Whiskey Golf Channel Tower makes straight in approach runway 4 right. Report a two mile final. Will this be multiple touch and goes? Multiple touch and goes. People, two mile final. Archer 9 6 1 Whiskey Archer one whiskey golf, that'll be runway four right, traffic in the pattern and arrow. Look off traffic, runway four right. Archer number six whiskey golf. Arrow two Delta Alpha additional traffic. Archer modified straight in four to five southwest of the airport. We'll be looking out for the traffic arrow nine two Delta Alpha. That was nice. Yankee, sorry about the confusion that last approach. Hold short of runway four left at Lima. 
No problem. We'll hold short of four left at Lima, four eight Yankee. Cherokee four eight Yankee, continue taxi across runway four left now. Then monitor ground in mount of the ramp. Use caution. Have a good day. All right, we'll cross four left and monitor ground. Good day, four eight Yankee. Stand by. Pops up. Pump off. Necessary electrical. Lean. Okay, another fun solo flight, and I'm happy you could join me. Like I said earlier, I got to practice some decision making, got to do some fun flying. It felt good to be so close, but I knew I had some important flights coming up and a lot of study and practice, including one more dual flight, one more solo flight, and then my final stage check. We would probably need another flight or two to make sure I had enough hood time, and then it would be time for my check ride. It was close. As usual, I would love to hear from you, so reach out to me in one of a few ways. My email address is bill at studentpilotcast.com, and you can reach me from the website, of course, at www.studentpilotcast.com, and click the contact link near the top. You can also use the website to comment on specific episodes, and finally, you can find me on Twitter, too, at Bill Will is my Twitter name. That's B-I-L-L-W-I-L. Thanks again for listening. It was nice to get a flight in during the morning hours after that hot, bumpy dual flight from the last episode. I got to do some important practice. I got to test out my aeronautical decision making. And I got 1.1 additional in the logbook in the solo column. I was headed into the home stretch. I could see that it was all coming together. And I was actually going to be a pilot. Music for today's episode is To Be an Angel by the Canadian band Uncle Seth. You can get more information and subscribe to the podcast feeds on the web at studentpilotcast.com. Remember, any instruction that you hear in this podcast was meant for me and for me alone in the situation I was in at the time. Please do not try to blindly apply anything you see or hear in this podcast to your own flying without thinking it through on your own completely. If you have questions about any aspect of your flying, please consult a qualified CFI.